What is going on guys? My name is Brent and in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to quickly and simply send notifications to an Android device using Wire Pusher and Node. So Wire Pusher is an Android app that you can install on any Android device that allows you to send push notifications directly to that device uh, using API web calls. Now the benefit of that is you don't have to create some complex uh, mobile app uh, to just deliver quick notifications to your users or your employees. So the cool thing about Wire Pusher is it's actually free to use up to 100 notifications per day. And for small businesses and stuff like that, maybe you can get away with just using the free version. Um, but for larger things, it's still really cheap. It's only like a dollar a month. Um, and up to $6 a year to use the notifications. Uh, so take that for what you will. The only thing you need uh, as far as Node is to install Axios, which allows us to send HTTP, HTTP client requests like a Git and Post. And we can go ahead and install that by doing npm install Axios and go ahead and let that install. Okay, now that we have that installed, let's go ahead and require our Axios into our Node app and create a new function called wire push. Uh, and we'll give it a user ID and a message. Now with Axios, it's pretty simple to uh, send a request. All we have to do is give it an object with a, with a few things. The first is a method, an HTTP request method. We'll give that post. The next is the URL to post to, and that's HTTPS uh, wirepusher.com slash send. The next is a list of parameters. So we'll do params, and we need an ID, and we'll give it the user ID. We need a title. This is kind of like the title of the email you're sending. We'll just call this hello world. We're going to need a message to send. And we'll just give that our message. And finally, we'll need a type. And this is kind of just the sender. And I think this, is, uh, this isn't required. But I'm going to just do Brent Codes here. And we'll save that. OK, in order to send a wire push notification, you're going to need that user's ID. It's very simple to get once they install the app. They're presented with it on the home screen. Um, and all we have to do is pass that ID uh, along with a message to our wire push function. So let's do that now. Wire push, let's pass the ID, W-H-B-P-M-P-P-T-S. And a message, I love to code. Now you probably won't be able to see it on my phone because it's so blurry, but hopefully you'll be able to hear the notification sound. So we got a notification. It's kind of hard to see there, but maybe you can make out hello world. And then if we select that notification, you're brought to the notification section of the wire push app. And I can clearly see hello world. Uh, from Brent uh, Codes and the message is I love to code. Now once the user receives their first notification they can select down in the type section and they should see a new type in our case it would call, be called Brent Codes it's whatever the type you send along with that post request via Axios. Um, and they can set things like customized ringtones for that notification. They can set whether or not they're notified at all. Um, they can set vibrates and all kinds of different things to customize their experience. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.